I'm going to discuss what insert into a MySQL table or update if the record exit. Here I'm using go country table and now you can see this is the record. So here I wanna do insert and update. So here you can see 214, 241 and Denmark or uh, here the rows already is there. So this is already is there. So I'm going to do some or uh, here changing the country name. So updating here this with Switzerland. Switzerland and uh, updating on or uh, this is now let's give for uh, nine this also and here since you are changing this places so there you need to also do the same things okay so copying this places and now let's paste it there so this will do the update on country id 241 if i execute this query so it's try to insert all uh, these values but it's already is there so that duplicate key that font that's why here this is doing the update on this country so this is here uh, for answers and right so now this turn here let's uh, see so i did the changes on the id 241 and here you can see 99 2009 okay so this is about here update now let's do the insert so two four two there is no any id country id is there so let's give here this place new zealand new zealand and this that i'm going to create on 2019 so this perform here if i try to i didn't change this place anything so if i run this query now there is no any problem with the query and since so this place 242 is not inside in the table so that here this is performing the insertion and uh, if you 242 is already is there okay if you execute again this query so what will happen 242 is already is there so this will update or uh, change here the name that changed to chitchat and if i run this query so here now let's uh, here you can see this is now on 242 chitchat and that's come there okay so insert into three columns is there so that here three columns then after here you need to uh, put the value to insert if value is percent then this will do the update if not then that will do the insert so here duplicate key country so when that percent then here duplicate key that perform and that do the update on this country and last update so when that form 242 already is there then here duplicate key and after that that do the update if you want or uh, here something some other country like go uh, let's give mongolia and uh, this here going to since here you can see 2019 is there and after doing the update 2009 that's come there let's give for uh, this is now 2023 and now if i run this here you can see this is updated and uh, this place here you can see country and date that change here if you want then you can give your system date also this process and uh, so this is how we can perform here insert or else update in my sql database tables so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you